Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the orange trunks, trim with white and black, weighing in at nine stone and nine pounds. Seven fight record, six wins, one defeat from South Woodham Ferries. Please welcome Lee Martin. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks, trim with white, weighing in at nine stone and nine pounds, nine contest. Seven wins, three inside the schedule distance, and two defeats from Morden. Craig Wire. Tank of the bell is Peter McCann of Ricelip, and our referee in charge is Mr. Phil Edwards of Preston. Three, three minute rounds. Prize fighter in the lightweight division, quarterfinal number one. Okay, gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, watch your heads and elbows in close. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Fasten your seatbelt. If you've never seen a prize fighter before, we can guarantee excitement. All action, the three round sprint format. You can't afford to work your way in, you've just got to go Second for it. Down. But don't First take too round. many risks, otherwise, you'll find yourself on the floor. So, high stakes. And another prize fighter tournament is underway, and it features the two outsiders that have been drawn together Craig Wyatt and Lee Martin in the orange. And here we go, tear up time already inside the first 30 seconds. This is a good match to get us going. Oh, two clean punches from both men straight away. This is really what prize fighters are all about. The two young men, not fancy to win it, but the longer you stay in it, the more money you make. So they're both going to give it a real go. And sometimes in prize fighter, being younger and being fresher can make a huge advantage over some of the more seasoned pros. We've seen it before. But these two have clearly decided that the best way to progress in prize fight is to attack. There is no defensive work from either man, both of them landing solid looking left hands and you wonder if they can keep this up terrific work from Wyatt there, the man in the blue trunks but Martin still coming after him Martin just a little bit too wild I think uh, Wyatt picking the cleaner punches but this is a terrific pace they've set off at yeah, he's picking nice punches there again Wyatt I think it's important to get the first round in the bank but uh, Martin may be trying a little bit too hard he's missing there no, he's not finding the target walking on his shots he's straight in looking for more here Martin phenomenal pace these two are setting early both these fellas had a defeat when they moved down weight division or in Wyatt's case a couple of weight divisions he went out the featherweight boiled himself down that was a big big mistake as uh, he ran out of steam and uh, lost to Jamie Spake for a southern area title Jamie was in action last night oh good right hand for Martin and he takes a right hook back from Wyatt yeah Martin just started to find the target there but uh, answered back in kind what a terrific first round to get fight Price fighter started. This is terrific stuff. Well, it, it, you've just summed up Price fighter in this first three minutes. This is what it's all about. The first two minutes, because we've still got nearly 40 something like 40 odd seconds. There's some damage, some blood has appeared, and they're just teeing off now. Good right hand from Martin, but a right hand back from Wyatt once again. It's you. You have one. I'll give you one, stuff. Wyatt marked under the right eye and Martin is just setting a ferocious pace in there tagging Wyatt once again oh, it's been a huge effort from Martin throughout the whole of the first round I think in the first couple of minutes Wyatt was picking the nicer punches but Martin beginning to get to him a little bit more in the third minute what a terrific opening round Another big right hand from Martin, whose work rate is relentless, and you're absolutely right, Jim. Where Wyatt was having some early success, Martin just poured it on, kept on coming, and he was landing the tastier looking shots the longer that went on. I mean, it was punches thrown from the first second, wasn't it? Look at that, both of them over 100 in that round. Well, I have Wyatt winning the opening round, but I get the impression that. Uh, Martin finished the stronger, so I'm wondering if that terrific opening round has taken more out of Wyatt than it did Martin. I think already this is a fight that's not going to be about skill, it's going to be about you know determination, will to win, and just what, what you can drag out of yourself. The fight certainly turned in the last minute of the round in Martin's direction, but I think uh, 
He'd Forest taken too seconds. many leads up to that point. But a lot of work still to be done. But Martin certainly out. looked to me Round to finish two. the stronger. So how does Wyatt respond? Round two then. Wyatt in the blue of Chelsea, that's his team, and he's also good mates with Darren Barker, who is here ringside, the former world middleweight champion, to watch him. He won't need reminding, Greg Wyatt, that Chelsea were upset against Newcastle today. Is there going to be another disappointment for the boy in blue? As Lee Martin is certainly coming after him. I just think Martin likes this kind of fight more than Wyatt does. Wyatt wants to use his skills, but he's just not being allowed to. I mean, I've seen his clever stuff, his clever tactics from Martin. I can't call it clever boxing, but he's just pouring everything he's got. He maybe fancies uh, Wyatt as the cleaner boxer, and he's not allowing that to happen. This orange swarm threatening to engulf Wyatt here at the moment. I mean, Wyatt might have been better covering up in the first minute and letting, letting Martin blow a bit of steam off. Oh, these are terrific punches from both men. Martin again, relentless. Wyatt's trying to pick some shots. That was better. Much better from the Norden man. Decent combination. Yeah, I'm just wondering if Wyatt maybe should have tightened up. Let Martin blow a little bit of steam off. But he's responded. They're both going hell for leather here. A couple of relative unknowns, a couple of youngsters, neither of them with ten fights experience, but they are lighting up the early stages of this prize fighter with their sheer raw endeavour and exuberance. And some of it is crude, of course it is, but they are just loading up with everything. Great uppercut in there from Martin, who gets tagged back though. Every time one of them lands really well, the other one finds an immediate response. And that's better from Wyatt. Now is Martin starting to feel this pace? Well, he's set a, a crazy pace. Got caught again there. Sharp left from Wyatt. And the more intelligent, more measured work coming from the Morden boxer at the moment. Well, you have to hand it to, to Wyatt. He's answered everything. But what a terrific pace, terrific work rate from Martin. Well, if this is the standard set, I wonder if it can get much better than this. This has really been amazing. That's what I said, Jim. So what you like about Price Fight, it is never dull. There we are, teeing off, loading up again. Back comes Martin, who looks like he's found a second wind here. As he just had to weather a little rough patch in the middle of this round. And got tagged again there. This is good work from Wyatt. Nailed him again right on the back, decent combination. He certainly finished that round very much in the ascendancy. Craig Wyatt. I mean, this is just non-stop punching, giving, taking, not thinking about defence. First two minutes were huge for Martin. But to his credit, just as Wyatt looked as though he may start fading, he came back into things finished producing the better boxing he is the better boxer of the two but it's uh, Martin's plan not to allow this to develop into a boxing match he wants a slugfest those stats are ridiculous <laughs> 220 punches thrown each amazing, amazing. but the giveaway there a much higher much more significant scoring percentage belong to Craig Wyatt in the blue trunks the third and last round Wyatt we think has got this one where he wants it unless Martin can put him on the floor here and what a level of that would be and I think Martin has been sent out and told you've got to win this don't leave anything here see Wyatt is trying to keep a defense about himself trying to use some skills and that was lovely stuff from Wyatt Martin just wants to do on sheer effort and courage. And he's got plenty of that. Our head's coming together there. And the clean stuff again coming from Wyatt at the moment. Martin, huge effort. 
but just not enough method in what he's doing. Just digging in, coming back for more. You just get the feeling that Wyatt, if he hasn't got this completely under control, pretty much has Martin where he wants him now. Struggling with the pace a little bit, Wyatt, I would think. He's having to, to grit his teeth too. And I tell to you, keep producing this, but uh, Martin really, there's no accuracy in what he's doing at the moment. But he still looks to have the energy, he's still able to drive himself on. But no, nah, he needs to find better accuracy. Well, that's been his problem throughout the fight, really, hasn't it? But the better accuracy, the sharper work has come from Wyatt. But I'll tell you what, Danny Connor and Michael Devine, who meet next, will get the winner of this one, and they'll be thrilled to see these two just taking so much out of each other. Just loading up, teeing off, digging in, coming back for more. Great work here from Martin. Well, Martin needs a big last minute here. He needs it. He's been outboxed. He's had his successes in the last round here. But he's Another. working on the two men, but he's still looking strong. What a gut check for both these fellas. Really brave, committed effort from both of them. We're inside the last minute of this first quarter final. Both of them still going at the same insane tempo they started off at. I mean, you just wonder, will the winner of this be able to have another two battles tonight? They have just used up everything they have here. I mean, experience is important too to win prize fighter. You have to win okay, you have to move to the next round. Well, the only good news is the winner gets a long rest. He's got three quarter finals to just sit and draw breath. Last few seconds here, inside the last 15 seconds. It's Wyatt for me, Jim, but yeah, I'm taking nothing away from Martin. Together. He's keeping his boxing together in the last round. Terrific. Clean punching. Huge effort from both young men. Both men can be proud. But for me, barring knockdowns, it's Wyatt who goes through. Put those two on an undercard somewhere over six or eight rounds. What great entertainment they just served up. Those are the stats. Make of those what you will. What a terrific way to kick off another prize fighter. You can't ask for any more, can you? And the purists will sit there and say, oh, well, where was the technique? Where was the defensive work? You've just got to admire the desire, the passion and the hunger and the will to win for both of them. I said Darren Barker was here. Andy Scott has caught up with him. Yeah, Darren, commiserations for the Chelsea result earlier, but you know Craig through the Chelsea connection. Unbelievable start. Who do you think should nick that one? Well, what, what, a, what a great fight to start the show. Unbelievable. I mean, that's a, that's a real pick on one, that. I mean, it could go either way. I'm hoping the Chelsea have done it, but I'm not too sure. It's the sort of fight where uh, you can't afford to lo uh, leave anything in the tank, so whoever goes through, can you see that they've left enough to, uh, for quarter-final uh, for semi-final one? Well, their, their preparations were tell, that's for sure. I mean, if they trained hard, then they should be OK. But, uh, I mean, whoever loses this will be proud of themselves as well. I mean, they left it all in the ring, though. You've seen Craig uh, in the Tony Sims gym sparring uh, Martin J. Ward. He just looked like he was taken out of a comfort zone there because Lee Martin was just non-stop. Non-stop. I mean, his work rate was unreal. I mean, but fair play to Craig as well. He kept going and uh, he's done himself proud and... I mean, look, whoever's won, whoever's lost, they'd both be proud of themselves, but it's, it's a tough one. Yeah, I wouldn't want to call it. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Darren Barker sitting on the fence, something Jim Watt never does. Yeah, well, I just think the cleaner work come from Wyatt, but it's taken an awful lot out of him. Ladies and gentlemen, result of quarterfinal number one, and we have a split decision. There we go. Howard Foster scores the contest 29-28 in favour of Martin. Michael Alexander scores the contest 29-28 in favour of Wyatt. Ian John Lewis scores the contest 29-28 in favour of the winner and through to semi-final number one from South Wooden Forest. Wow, well, 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 it's Lee Martin. Martin. He's nicked it on a split decision. Oh, let's show our appreciation, please. Disappointment for Craig Wyatt, who looks shell-shocked. It's just not Chelsea's day, is it?